in your sada, uh, in your container, the darker your outcome will be. So this is about the right to get those colors that I have on those over there. It's about the, as much as I used. Do we have questions here? Could you tilt that towards me again, please? <laughs> Thank you. And what kind of shaving? Wood shavings of any type. If you don't have a woodworker near you, you can always find it in the pet section. Hamster bedding. Hamster bedding. Or, yeah. The next ingredient is the yummy. So usually I use about one spoon of copper car to five spoons of salt and then mix that up together. There is nothing magic about that. You could probably be either way, but I just, you know, just came up with that figure and thought that sounded good. Five cup five, one salt. One, five, five salt. One five one salt. One five. <laughs> The biggest disadvantage to whipping up this, the ingredients here is that you can't taste them. <laughs> now there's a, there is a skill to putting the salt in, salt, cop, copper carbon. You do not want it to touch the pot. And the reason for that is where it touches on the pot, you get this kind of ugly black ball. So when you're putting in the copper carbon, you want to hold your spoon in the right way. Is it just regular table salt? The sprinkle just time? regular okay. table salt. I usually use kosher at my house, and um, <laughs> so you know that, that it's not going to make any. Just don't use big rock, rock, rock salt, salt that they yeah. use in, in salt fire. And what you want to do is just take it around the edge. Were you able to see that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I can't do this. <laughs> it will all come the, down. The outer edge. The outer of edges. The, and you'll see when you're using your spoon, the, the way that it seems to work the best to, to put it on. Just kind of take it down like this and go around. All right, this is what makes the delicious look on top. Is the and, nice. and when you're opening up a brick of steel wool, be, be very, very careful mm -hmm. because you'll want to just yank on it and it'll cut your mm -hmm. finger. Absolutely. It'll... That. In this case, less is more. Um, you'll see here, I had I put just about thing go, this much around like that. Wow. And mm -hmm. it, it seems to attract the fumes, and then it gives a little bit of texture looking to the pot. Now this one, being the type of um, pot shape that it is, you can see just having one around here, might the, the um, steel wool may, might just fall down. So I'm going to anchor it by putting some inside the mouth of it. yourself thinking, man, that's a little too big. I sometimes spend more time putting this on than everything else, because really this is your design. And with this kind of sagger firing, you want to make it look as organic as possible. Mm -hmm. Once you start getting, I don't use the, the copper wire anymore, because so once you start using it, on it, it's very hard to get the that flow in that one Char Charlie showed you, that is the only one we have ever gotten that has that natural flow to it. Do you want a pair of gloves? We have gloves out there. Yeah. <clears throat> I like the look. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think I just about have this. I'm going to Again, just a simple 
a little bit, almost like the kinks in it straighten out just a little here and there. A little bit, yes. I need you as my translator. <laughs> I don't know, you have to talk to Mary about that. <laughs> I think I've already signed up for as your assistant. Yes, you are. <laughs> Okay, and that way I, it has less of a chance of coming apart. Yeah. You all wait silently for the paper clip. <laughs> right. My preferred method is to have a, the roundness of the pot to be about an inch, two inches from the end of the, uh, okay, let me try again. The center of the pot and the edge of the pot, I'd like the edge of the pot to be about two inches from the side. Okay, that's the edge of the, the pot to the edge of the zagger. Okay, did I confuse mm -hmm. anybody no, myself? No, no, no. In this case, it will work just fine that I've got a skinny little pot and I'm putting in a sagger that, as you can tell, there's about maybe three inches there, three or four inches, but that's okay. Now this is the hardest part. There, there you go. <laughs> um, generally, we try and have just a little bit of a crack here for the air to come through. Notice I'm just doing that with the sagger itself. A lot of times it fits so nicely. Well, I can even do it. No, there's a little crack. But if you, with it looks like you need a little bit more airspace, which is kind of like this much. Um, you can take the steel wool. See how easy this just falls apart. And take the steel wool and make little little balls out of it. And that will have help to keep that open just enough. You can do that just as you're putting it into the into the kiln. Also, there's like high temperature steel wire or whatever you can buy and you know put that in places around there but I'm not I don't have enough um, attention span to actually get to the point of going and getting that so I just use um, what I she have. also uses some of the chips that come off the naked raccoon pieces you know those eggshell pieces those mm -hmm. work fine to propagate you know what I'm finding with this paper clip is it wants to pull the whole thing in into the center so we have found out at least in this case we experimented and no it wasn't the best best option I think there's just a just enough to keep it by putting this in here all right I'm gonna take it outside and I'm gonna fire it while you guys do whatever and I should be done at five o'clock